Okay guys, here we go on our final video of our thank you card series and we're going to be using Stampin' Up's Sheltering Tree Stamp Set. I like this stamp set. It's, it's very fun to do. So I got all my inks around me and I already have my stamps on blocks. We're using My Favorite Things Hybrid Ink and we're using the Tangy Orange Wild Cherry Factory Green and Brick Red. And what I realized is actually this, the one that I'm showing you, we're going to be using the Wild Cherry and the Brick Red for the leaves. Um, I made more than one card and that's why I had the Tangy Orange. But you actually won't see me use this one in this video. So the branches and the trunk of the tree is stamped on the Stampin' Up! Classic Pad in Early Espresso. And now I'm getting the two red colors together because we're going to do um, the leaves and the two different colors. And I'm starting out with the darker red, which is the brick red. And we're going to just um, ink up the stamp. And then I'm just figuring out exactly where I want to place it. The best part about polymer stamps is that you can see straight through. So once I get the first stamp down then I take the wild cherry which is a little bit of a brighter red I stamp on top of the stamp again making sure I get it inked up really well and then what I'm doing is I'm lining it up with where I had the stamps on the last time and I just shift it up a little bit and then what that does is it gives it extra layering and now we're going to take the factory green and we're going to actually do the pathway and I like the hybrid inks um, they're really good for using Copric markers but they they also they work well as just regular stamps I mean they have great pigment great color and um, I really enjoy using them actually I have more of those than I do of any um, of the other stamps and I was just trying to figure out which way I wanted my path to go. And then we just press down and press back up. Alright, and because of the green being lighter, we could take it right across the bottom of the tree trunk. And it doesn't mess up the espresso, the early espresso ink. So now with the Versifying Black ink, we're going to do the sentiment, which is thankful for you which is in the stamp set and then the stamp set has a lot of um, extra pieces they have like a bicycle you could have by the uh, tree or on the path it also has a swing um, it has a lot of different things um, you can have leaves floating in the wind uh, I decided to use the rake I thought it was great for fall all right so now what I'm doing is I'm getting my card pieces together. Um, what I like to do is, especially on the technique ones, I want to focus more on what we're actually putting the, the focal point you know, together, how we're stamping it or coloring it. So I already have all my pieces cut. So right now I'm just quickly you know, putting all my layers so that way um, once the top piece is on, the card is finished. And we're just um, still using the Tombow Mono Adhesive. And this piece of paper right here I'm using, I actually got from a pack of paper that was from Die Cuts with a View. Um, I think I got it at Joanne Fabrics, I think. Yeah. I have a thing for uh, pattern paper. And I try to limit myself, but I couldn't help it with the beautiful butterflies in it. Even though I'm covering it up, it's still a nice piece of paper. And then once it's taped down, it's all done. Now you can always take it up a notch. Um, you could add glitter to the leaves, make it sparkle. Um, I'm trying to leave this one a little bit more where it could be either for a man or a woman. Um, you know, some guys don't like sparkly stuff. So, <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for joining me on our final thank you card. Um, I hope you have a great weekend. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Have a good one.